Boise State football team welcoming UConn to town this week and looking for their 17th straight win in terms of home opening performances. A, a lot of highlights to get to. Let's get right to them. First play from scrimmage for the Broncos offense, a hint of what was to come last night. Alexander Madison takes the carry up the middle for a gain of 35. Okay, this looked like a nice little move on the scoreboard at the time. Hayden Hogarth, he caps a 10 play drive with a 28 yard field goal. Three to nothing, Boise State. Second offensive possession, Brett Rippin lays this one perfectly in the bread basket to John Hightower, showing off the wheels. Gets behind the defense, it's a 67 yard touchdown. Broncos up, 10 to zip. Who's John Hightower? That's John Hightower, <laughs> my goodness, what a Eels. night from him. Hey, after that, well, Avery Williams, uh, it looks like the bionic man wearing that brace <laughs> on his right arm, but he's got reservations for the turnover thrown. He comes up with his first pick of the season and his third pick of the career of his career. Yeah, go take a seat, buddy. That leads to this four plays later, ripping the rope to tight end John Bates. Bates first career touchdown grab. Boise State ahead 17 zip. After the Broncos get a stop, they would get the ball back in. Well, this is one of the new wrinkles of the offense. He's a true freshman and his name is Khalil Shakur. He picks up 28, then he picks up 11, and well, that has Boise State knocking on the door. So from there, they bring in the four tight end set. And Alexander Madison finishes it off. One of his two touchdowns last night. Madison finishing with 115 on the ground. Broncos up 24 zip. Okay, still in the second quarter. How about this play from John Hightower? He takes the end around. They give him 55 yards for this touchdown, but he probably <laughs> ran somewhere in the neighborhood of 120 yards. And guess what? UConn's defense didn't even touch him. To the house! And all of a sudden, Boise State just continues to pull away from the Huskies. Visions of Seneca Wallace versus Texas Tech across the field. Another stop gets the ball back to the offense, and they go back to work. Hightower again takes the end around for a gain of 13. He had 119 receiving yards on five catches last night. Alexander Madison finishes off the 11 play drive with his second score of the night. Broncos up 41 zip and it's only halftime. Okay, to the second half we go. I promise you there's still more highlights. How about some of the youngsters getting into the ball game? Andrew Van Buren, the true freshman running back, goes right up the gut for 23 yards. Promising future. Wow. Four plays later, he finishes off that drive with his first career touchdown run. AVB with 75 rushing yards on 13 carries last night. I, if you stayed up late and watched till the end of this game, this might have been, uh, I'm going to say the second best highlight next to Hightower's end around because Achillean Butler takes that little shovel pass and somehow finds his way into the end zone. A, the, the second straight game in which AK has found pay dirt. And by the way, maybe give some of the other guys just a little bit of credit because they pushed him the final five yards into the promised land. Boise State racks up a single game program record, 818 yards of offense in route to winning 62 to seven last night on the blue. We're not going to take this for granted. We won a big game tonight for us. And whatever anybody else thinks about it because of the score, Winning is hard. It was a fun night. It was fun to be out there. It was fun to be on the sideline. It was fun to watch our guys and uh, make plays and celebrate with each other. It was fun to see Avery Williams get out there and get on the throne. It was good to see Achillean Butler get in the end zone. It was good to see John Hightower turn on the Jets on a reverse and get around the corner and, and get a chance to see his speed in the game. It was good to see Brett go out there and make good decisions. You know, what you put in is what you get out of it. And if you deserve success, you'll get it. And those guys certainly did tonight. It's really big. I think, I mean, that's about as good as it gets, I think, balance wise. So, I mean, it was a good night for us. And, um, you know, there's still some things that we need to work on. I think, you know, we'll go back and watch the film and it's never going to be as good as it looked. It felt good. It felt amazing just for our offense to, to click and uh, to be out there having fun. Uh, that was, I mean, the 818 total yards of offense. <laughs> It was the best offensive showing I've ever seen, and that's really obviously not that bold of a, of a statement. Yeah. Did Brett Rippon just throw another touchdown pass? I, it feels like it. It, it, it seriously yeah. does. I, poor UConn. Poor <laughs> UConn. That, oh, gosh. If it was eight-man football, it would have been a running <laughs> clock in the third quarter.